guys, so in today's video I'm doing a August favorites. I wanted to show you guys all of the things that I love this month. I wanted to start off with clothing and I actually have a couple favorites in that department. I have been loving this month muscle tees. I'm just loving this sleeveless look. It's super, super cute and I love the edgy, grungy vibe that it gives off. I have so many more but I'm just showing you just a couple. I usually love wearing the low cut ones like this to the gym. I actually cut this myself. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video about how I cut muscle tank, just like this video or comment down below and let me know so I can show you guys a little DIY. It literally takes like a few minutes and I have been loving cutting my own shirts as well. Another thing I've been favoring are these high-waisted shorts and I've absolutely been loving high-waisted shorts this month. I have worn them almost practically all month. I have quite a few right here that I want to show you. I still have a couple that are in my dresser, but the ones that I have been favoriting the most are the maroon ones that I have. I absolutely love these high-waisted shorts. They're so cute. I love the maroon color it gives off. You can pair this with any like earth tone type color shirt and some nude sandals. And I love this knitted detail that it gives off in the front. I got these ones at Charlotte Russe and they were only like 15 bucks. This is a Steve Madden purse and I love how it has the tan on the bottom and then it cuts into the white and then it has the black strap and studded details on the side. You can adjust the straps right here. I'm not really used to carrying smaller purses. I love carrying bigger purses because I can just throw whatever I need in there and call it a day. It's kind of rough running around with a 17 month old and carrying a 20 pound purse and carrying her diaper bag and carrying, you know, all these things so I just limited myself and was like okay if you cannot fit it in this purse then you don't need it and then it has a chevron type pattern on the inside I can just pretty much pair this with any type of outfit because it does have the browns and it does have the blacks in it which makes it a very wearable purse for hair I have a few things that I like to show you if you haven't seen I think it was my eyebrow tutorial and I was wearing this teal bow and a lot of you have mentioned that you love the bow and it was like super cute I loved it this month as well it's an oversized size bows. Just a really cute statement detail to just have just to wear on top of your head or just clip it on the back and I've been loving this color. I got this at Forever 21 and this was only I want to say maybe $1.80 if not $1.80 it was like $2.80 which isn't that bad. Another thing that I've been loving this month is this number four high performance hair care. It's a leave-in conditioner and it also protects hair color. I had just recently dyed my hair so it's been super super helpful in maintaining that and what's awesome about this product is great for all hair types. My last favorite for hair is this Aussie Mega Hairspray. The smell of it smells amazing. The scent lasts. This may sound a little bit weird. It smells like Dimatap. Is that how you say that? It smells like Dimatap. 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 Must Google. Dimatap. And it smells like Dimatap. Is that how you say that word? Why does it sound so weird right now? If you don't know what that is, it is a children's cough medicine and it comes in a grape flavor but it smells so good. Like when I first sprayed this in my hair, it like shot me back to like me being seven or eight years old and having to drink that stuff. It actually tastes good too, but I haven't tasted this and I won't, but it actually smells like this. I've been loving this hair product. Skincare, I haven't really changed up my skincare routine because I have found what kind of worked for me from last month. I do have a few things that I've added to it and one of them is this e.l.f. Zit Zapper. I've used it here and there and definitely noticed a difference but lately I just started using them on just the little areas that have kind of you know broken out on me. It legit helped get rid of my pimple within like a day or two. It comes in roll on form. I just roll it onto the troubled area and it just takes care of it. I'm running low. I have like that much left of the product but I went to Target last week and bought a couple more just to have backup. Honestly I suggest you try this product. You will not be disappointed at all. In the past I've also definitely recommended this product to some family and friends and they've loved the product as well. For this being a dollar you cannot even complain about that. I love trying out different makeup wipes to see what works for me. Love and Beauty by Forever 21 and I just got this in the lavender extract and I use this mainly just to take my eye makeup off. Other makeup wipes that I've been using if I take it off with that one 
it burns my eyes and I'm like blind and I can't see and like my eyes are burning. I'm trying to like wash it off. I've noticed that when I put these on my eyes, they don't burn and I'm able to wipe it all out. There's 30 wipes in this package and it was only $2.80. I will definitely be repurchasing this again. For makeup application, I've been favoriting a few lately. One of them is BH Cosmetics Large Fan Brush and I just love using this for highlighting. Another brush that I've been favoriting is Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. I don't use this to contour with, but I use this for blush, but this brush works amazing for cream blushes. I absolutely love my Beauty Blender. I just washed it like at the beginning of the week and it's already, you know, got some stains on it, but I use this religiously. I can't go without it. It gives off a type of airbrush finish. I use this to blend out my concealer and I don't damp it because I feel like the concealer that I use is already has a um, damp, dewy finish to it. Just dab it and just make sure that it evenly blends throughout my skin and I have not turned back. And I don't use anything else to blend out my concealer but this and it's just been so good to me. So as we were talking about these two brushes, I also have the two products that I've been using with the brushes. This is the product that I've been using with the large fan brush and it is a e.l.f. baked blush. This is in pink-tastic but as you can tell this is more of a highlight than a actual blush. I haven't used it for a blush because I just think it's just way too light for my skin. I have used it more on the highlighting side and I've been loving it for that purpose. Here is a little swatch so you can see the type of highlight that it gives off. This is where I just take my large fan brush, dip it into the product, just lightly tap on above the cheekbone area just to give it that highlighted effect. As for the blush, I've been using with this brush. This is the e.l.f. HD blush. This is in Superstar and holy cow, I am not gonna lie, this is super pigmented. This is good stuff. I barely even have to do a full pump just to get it on both cheeks. I actually have a little bit of it on my cheeks today as well. I just have a little squirt. You can like barely even tell it's on there. I think what, what works so well with this brush is that it has like a stippling effect to it. It's only picking up the product lightly and it's able to blend out so easily with it. I'm just able to take this and then lightly dab it onto my cheeks and just blend it all in. A favorite that I've been leaning towards for the days that I don't wear a face full of makeup or I have been turning to this Dr. Jart Plus BB Cream. I got this BB Cream in my birch box. I just want to look awake and brightened and um, glowy. I've absolutely been using a lot of this product and it's been amazing. Another product that I've been using on my face this month has definitely blown me away. It is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and this is in Sheer. I had bought this a couple months ago and just didn't use it because I have so many other products that I wanted to try out. I just put this one on the back burner, but this month I pulled it out just thinking like, oh, it's just probably just another, you know, finishing powder, and I have not put it down since. I just apply it with this e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I'm very, very impressed with this product. It gives off a nice finish. It does have a white powder type substance, as you can just see from the top. I was just scared that it was going to make my face look super white, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like that or not, because you could just see off this brush right here how white it makes the brush. When I dab it into my face, it comes off translucent. It just has a really nice soft finish to it, and I have been loving this product, and... It's just been working so well for me. So let's get into eye favorites. For mascaras, I've been leaning towards two different mascaras lately. And one of them has been the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's very thick, has done its job when it comes to adding more volume to your lashes. The formula is really nice. It doesn't get too clumpy or anything like that. And it's just been very, very wearable. I love putting this on before I put on false lashes. But I also have days that I don't lean towards wearing false lashes. When I have those days, I have been leaning towards this Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. It's just a lash extension that has nylon fibers in it. I've had this for a while now, and this is another product that I just used for a while. Just like went to other products, but I went back to it and I forgot why I liked this product so much and it definitely reminded me this month why I do. This is what the wand looks like for this and this is just in a black 
and you apply that on your lashes first as a base coat and then you take this a nylon lash fiber mascara as you can see it has like little hairs on it just add this on to the base coat of the mascara and it sticks onto your lashes i apply this more towards the tips of my mascara and it's supposed to make your lashes longer anyway so that's where you want to like typically put that after this is fully applied i let this sit for a minute or so just to make sure that the fiber has attached to the base coat of the mascara now just go back to this main coat of mascara and finish it off as a top coat it covers all the white fibers that are on your lashes it also makes your lashes appear longer never had problems with it clumping and it just looks phenomenal on your lashes if you're just having one of those days that you don't want to put false lashes on or if you're not a false lash type girl but you are trying to get more length out of your lashes this product right here is perfect for you and you should definitely try it out I have been favoring both Fabuliners from Jordana. I use a thinner Fabu liner for the eyelid or the bold Fabu liner. I use this one for the winged part and they work great together. The Milani product that I've been favoriting is this Milani Runway Eyes Eyeshadow. This is just a little six piece palette that I have been using a lot lately. I actually use this middle color right here on my outfit of the day video I actually had this on my eyelids I just noticed that I've been gravitating to this palette a lot lately this month for lip products I have a couple things that I like to mention elf lip exfoliator I just love the simple fact of the packaging it comes like a lipstick applicator and you can just push it off and just exfoliate your lips that way I'm definitely a big fan of that since I also do have this lush exfoliator and I love this product as well I'm not bashing it or anything but it does come in jar form it does kind of get a little messy since I have to dip my finger in there and then apply it and then I just get like the exfoliator all over the place and then the fact that I kind of have to dip my finger into the product kind of makes it a little unsanitary to me the product itself is very very good it's exfoliating and moisturizing at the same time it does have a sugar type taste to it since it is an exfoliating scrub so you're able to like lick your lips afterwards for the lipstick I have been favoriting this model cosmetic lipstick and this is a party proof matte lipstick it says and I just like the simple fact of the packaging it's sleek it's white and it also has a clear head on the top of it so you're able to choose the color and see what the color looks like from the top and this lipstick is in disco fever I actually got this one in my birch box and I absolutely have been loving this product I actually have this lipstick on my lips right now as you can see it's like an orange type color with a coral type undertone to it the color payoff is amazing it is super pigmented I have been using this lipstick non-stop this month I that's how much I've been loving and obsessing over this lipstick for my last favorites I've been favoriting this Chella eyebrow pencil and I got this in my ipsy glam bag this is in dark brown the pencil is super super thin and what works for it being so thin is it is very very like accurate when lining my brow and filling it in and I just been loving the color I kind of feel like it has like a red type undertone to it and since my hair is red it kind of like blends in really well with my hair it's not too too dark for my hair and it doesn't throw off my face or anything I hope you ladies enjoyed seeing what I like this month if you have any questions about the products that I use or anything just comment down below let me know what's up if you can please like and subscribe to my channel I'd greatly appreciate it all right ladies I will see you guys next time